I'm going to show you now how to do a little bubble knot. This is sometimes added to the bottom of tapestries, wall hangings. Instead of leaving the skin, uh, sorry, the strings with nothing on, it just adds a little bit of embellishment to them. It's similar to making as the double half hitch knot. So I've got a piece of cord 1.5 metres in length that I folded in half and joined to my dowel using the lark's head knot. Now the way you perform this knot, take just one of the strings and make a loop as I've done there. Let's try and hold that up so you can see it a bit better. And in that loop, like we went round with the double half hitch knots, we're going to just feed through, making the same sort of spiral pattern. Now, depending on how many times you go in and out, can you see how I'm keeping it nice and tight there? So I've done that three. Out, back in through the centre, and then just hold it together and gently pull. Now, when you pull, it goes down. Okay. And there's my bubble. Yeah. So you can see that was slightly bigger than that. You can go back and do one higher up, which I will do now. So again, we start with a loop. Doesn't matter if you're left or right handed with this. And we just go in and tie. I'm going to go right up to my dowel at the moment. Because remember what I just said about pulling it down to. And I'm getting that nice pattern. And the third time. This isn't very easy to demonstrate. So I'm sorry if you're having issues. Just hold the bottom of those and pull. And you get a bubble. So I've got three bubbles. The idea is you make them of different thicknesses. You could just do one or two loops. You can go to five or six different points down the cord. So start with a loop and let's come in and just wrap around that loop. It's like a double half hitch, but we're just going around one cord, one, Two. Three. I'll try and make this quite a big one. But just remember what I said when you pull it, it comes down your cord. So I'm going to have a bigger gap up here in a moment. So I've twisted round probably about seven times there. So it's pushing down down nicely and can you see how all my rounds but then he's quite low down so if I go back and do a little one up here so again the loop once I'm just going to do two twice on that one let me push it up a little bit that makes a difference. So I've got two loops, pull them down. There we are, a bit of manipulation. Let's come out a little bit in the middle and just carry on and make as many as you like. So if I start up quite high to this one, I'm starting with a smaller loop. One. Two, over and in the centre. So you're just going round, just treating that loop as your filler cord, and then we'll pull. As we pull down, it comes out a little bit. And we've got a few of those. Just do one more bit lower down. Again, got my loop.
and it is best to come round from now I'm coming round from that would be my right round clockwise over under And push them up like you do with your thumb on a double half hitch and then pull down and we've got a nice little bubble and that's the last knot there that we're going to do on our sampler <laughs> 